One of the craziest things about blockchain is that there's so many different ways to make money with these skills. You have unlimited access to a brand new open financial system. And I've seen tons of stories lately about blockchain developers who are absolutely killing it with trading bots, flash loans, and other advanced DeFi strategies. From the guy who used a flash loan to make $820,000 off the Board Ape Yacht Club airdrop, all the way to this developer who made $31,000 instantly with their trading bot. Well, in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how they're doing that and what you need to know if you want to learn these exact skills yourself. I'm going to talk about this as a blockchain developer with trading bot experience who works with this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this developer who makes $31,000 instantly with their trading bot. So I previously talked about this in one of my live streams that I do on my channel. Just subscribe, turn notifications, you'll find about this stuff instantly as it happens. But in this video, I want to do a deep dive and actually break this down about what happens step by step here and talk about some other examples just like this so that you can learn for it so that you can craft your own strategies. And because we're seeing so much uptick in this space and every time I talk about this, people are like, hey, you got to show me how to do this. I'm going to hold a training bot masterclass on Thursday, April 28th. Inside, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to create your own blockchain based trading bot from the flash loans to the smart contracts to the bot itself. So sign up with the link down below and hold your spot today. All right, so let's get into this. Let's break down this transaction on how this developer made, uh, you know, over $31,000 in a single transaction with their trading bot. So I'm actually going to pull up the transaction here on Etherscan so you can see this. So there's lots of clues on this page about exactly what happened in this process, okay? So essentially, you can see the actual details of the transaction. Swapping 5,243 Ether, all right, for this much USDC, so about $16 million in USDC, uh, and then taking that $16 million USDC and swapping it for about $16 million USDT, and then swapping that USDT back for 5,518 Ether on Uniswap version 3. So you can see this is the starting balance, and basically this is the ending balance. So you can see the difference here. So 5,518 all right, minus uh, 5,243. So that's about a close to a 300 ETH difference. Now you might say, hey, that's a big difference. That's a lot more than $31,000. Well, part of that's because this was actually a private transaction where they were able to quote unquote bribe you know, a miner to include this transaction into a block. You can actually see the hint here. This is a private transaction. And the difference that went back to the developer was actually after the miner fee was paid uh, to do that. So most of the actual ETH ARB from this transaction went to Ethermine to actually include the transaction into the block, but the actual profit to the miner, sorry, to the bot itself was about 10 ETH. So that's where the $31,000 number comes from. And the funny thing about this, if you actually look at the transaction on Etherscan, you can expand more transaction details on the bottom and you can see the actual function name that the developer created for their smart contracts is called print money. So the whole idea is he, he has a money printer there and he's just calling this function, which he's named that, over and over again. And every time he does it, you know, new money appears. All right, so let's talk about why this arbitrage opportunity was possible in the first place. So first of all, you have to understand what arbitrage is. It's basically buying cryptocurrency on one exchange and selling it on a different exchange uh, for a profit, okay? So how could you even do that in the first place? Well, because, you know, cryptocurrency prices are determined by marketplaces, okay? Whatever the cryptocurrency price is on one exchange, that's the price on that exchange only, okay? And then another exchange might have the same price or might have a different price. And, you know, arbitrage opportunities pop up in cryptocurrency markets naturally for a couple reasons. Number one is because cryptocurrency prices themselves are volatile. They're always going up and down. And whenever you have these big price motions, either if it's going up really fast or down really fast, exchanges fall out of sync and that can, um, you know, cause a big difference here. And that's when an arbitrage opportunity happens. And that's actually a good thing is because you know, developers can basically bring markets to efficiency, bring the prices back to where they should be. So, um, you know, another reason for this is actually slippage on a DEX, which means somebody wants to go trade a large amount of cryptocurrency more than that particular decentralized exchange has, and that can cause the prices to go to whack really quickly. And that's exactly what happened here. So you can see basically... Uh, a very large amount of uh, USDC uh, was swapped for USDT, all right, on Uniswap. It was $24 million of USDC to USDT, losing $1.5 million in slippage along the way. So basically, somebody wanted to trade, you know, $24 million of USDC. A amount of liquidity wasn't really supported, so you, you lose a lot along the way. And because of how the automated market maker technology works with Uniswap, the price goes down like crazy. And when that price goes down like crazy, it creates the opportunity for, you know, an arbitrage opportunity that way. And that's exactly what happened in this transaction. And so this same bot is making, you know, lots of other trades, you know, on a daily basis. You can see one like here 
which is about 160 ETH profit. So they're just doing these types of things over and over again. And he's not the only one. You know, this is not the only crazy story that I've seen pop up lately. Like we saw somebody borrowed five board apes uh, to claim $1.1 million of ape tokens during the board ape yacht club airdrop. This is somebody who used flash loans to do this. And so this is a completely different scenario, but this is another example of how developers are using these superpowers at their fingertips to go after new opportunities on the blockchain. Now there's a lot of controversy around this about like, hey, you know, was this stealing or was this, you know, somebody just taking advantage of an opportunity on the table? I'll let you all do that one out down in the comment section below. So basically the backstory behind this was that the NFT project Board Ape Yacht Club, you know, they issued a brand new token called the Ape Token. And they're going to airdrop this token to people who held the NFTs. So, you know, Board Ape Yacht Club's an NFT. If you held the Board Ape, you're going to be eligible for this airdrop, okay, of new coins. So basically... Uh, there's a little bit of divergence on how this particular airdrop worked with other airdrops in the past. So let's say you had been involved in the Uniswap airdrop, for example. Uniswap's airdrop was for people who had used Uniswap prior to a certain date on the blockchain or prior to a certain block, okay? So the Board Ape Yacht Club worked a little bit differently. It sounds like, essentially, you just had to hold a Board Ape Yacht Club at that point in time in order to claim the airdrop which is a huge uh, opportunity for this person to, to come in and use, you know, get a board ape, but also use a flash loan to increase their exposure to board apes and actually claim more tokens than they otherwise could have. So you can actually see the transaction here on the screen uh, about how this person did this. And I'll essentially break this down. You know, they're able to get a board ape and they're able to, you know, take out a loan to borrow other board apes. And so basically, because they had all these board apes for a single transaction, that they were able to claim the Board Ape Yacht Club and then just return the NFTs because all they had to do is hold them for an instant in time to claim that airdrop and then immediately send them back and then claim the airdrop and then they don't have the NFTs anymore, but they have the new ape tokens. And you can see all the different apes that were involved in this transaction on this list. And that's how they were able to claim about $820,000 in free coins at the time of the airdrop. And, you know, some of the articles say a little bit differently, about $1.1 million in future value because the ape coin went up. But that's exactly how they were able to do this and create their own smart contracts to get these advanced strategies. All right, so both of these are completely different scenarios. You know, we're talking about a, a trading bot that's essentially looking for arbitrage opportunities, you know, on cryptocurrency exchanges versus somebody who's using... Uh, you know, NFTs and claiming airdrops. Okay, there's there's all different types of opportunities out there. But what what do you need to know in order to start uh, doing this? Well, number one is you need to be able to create your own strategies. Okay, no one's just going to hand you on a silver plate like the step by step tutorial on how to like print money on the blockchain because that's absolutely crazy. But if you want to actually you know get the fundamentals and then learn how to think so that you can start looking for opportunities that hey maybe nobody else is looking for. I mean that's exactly what happened with the board ape. Uh, person here. Who else is thinking about how to claim board apes? And this person jumped on the opportunity and made, you know, about a million dollars. Well, then you need the skills in order to do that. So let's talk about what each of those pieces are, each thing you need to learn in order to start creating those strategies. So here are the fundamentals that you need to know. So first and foremost, you need to learn how to create your own smart contracts. Let's just say you're trying to build a trading bot, okay? Because this the smart contracts are what are going to allow you to take out flash loans, okay? You can't really take out a flash loan without a smart contract. I mean, you can but there's no point because you're just going to take it out and pay it back because you can't really take out a flash loan without a smart contract because if you take it out, you need to pay it back instantly. So, you know, basically that's how flash loan works. You can borrow millions of dollars of cryptocurrency for free with zero money down as long as you pay it back in the same transaction. But that transaction has to have multiple steps. You take out the flash loan, then you pay it back. And so when you create those complex multi-step transactions, you have to be a developer to do that because you have to put them inside of functions. That's like what you do inside smart contracts is you create functions with multiple steps or multiple instructions in the blockchain that get included in those transactions. So you got the smart contracts to do that so that you can take out flash loans and so that you can actually, you know, create your own custom strategies for doing multiple steps, all right? You got to do things, you know, more complex than just, you know, go trade a token. It's got to have step one, take out a loan, step two, trade a token, you know, whatever they are, you need to have the skills to create those contracts. So implied in that step of instruction, you need to learn how to create flash loans, okay, and how to actually use them. Uh, different flash loan providers. You need to learn how to actually take those contracts and plug them into other decentralized applications out there, other smart contracts. If you're going to create a buy, you need to learn how to buy and sell on two different cryptocurrency exchanges. You know, if you want to flash loan NFTs or like, you know, claim an airdrop, you need to learn what the interfaces are for those contracts that you want to interact with and then actually 
figure out how to take those interfaces and put them into your smart contracts and actually actually write code that interfaces with those open protocols and figure out what their you know functions are from the documentation include those that you can create your own custom strategies and then finally you need some sort of watcher or executor that can actually call your smart contract as well so you know this could be a couple things you know like with the board ape example like we're talking about you don't necessarily have to have he probably wasn't had any of it probably didn't have a bot that was just sitting there looking for like flashline opportunities that that'd be to be too insane. Like, I don't think you could come up with a script that could possibly find that sort of thing. He probably knew what he was looking for. And they probably had some sort of script that just executed the function because he he wrote the custom business logic to do it. And there's like, all right, let's just call it and do it. All right. So, but you need some sort of execution script to do that type of thing. Um, but if you're creating a trading bot, you definitely have something that's watching for price differences on different exchanges. And maybe that calls your contract automatically, or maybe it's able to alert you of an opportunity and then you call it. But most likely you want something that's watching all the time and then can also simultaneously, you know, call your contract as well in order to capitalize on those opportunities. And so the best way to do this is actually to create some sort of environment where you can replicate uh, actual arbitrage opportunities on the blockchain or whatever it is and then write code to actually capitalize on those and practice it so that you can get good at it and then take the training wheels off and then go do that in a production environment. And you can do it on multiple blockchains. We've got Ethereum, Polygon, you know, Avalanche, all these different chains out there where Solidity smart contracts are supported. New opportunities are popping up all the time. And the key is basically to find opportunities that lots of other people aren't doing yet. All right, that's one of the keys to profit with this. And so if you want how to customize your own strategies and do this in an environment where you can check that they actually work before you take the training wheels off and go try to fly airplane on by yourself. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you inside that trading bot masterclass on Thursday, April 28th. Okay, so make sure you sign up with the link down below to hold your spots today. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you're as fast at this video and this topic as I am, and you can't wait for that masterclass, you just got you're so fired up that you want to start learning these coding skills now. Then what can you do? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step by step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.